Welcome back to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to show you how to set up dynamic page level access with pop-up messages and greetings messages based on user who is currently viewing the report. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for all such interesting solutions in Power BI. With that, let's check it out. So we have a Power BI report with these two pages, and we have created a home page. In this report, we wanted to set page level access based on user who is currently logged in. Also, we want to set some custom pop-up message. If user doesn't has access to any of the report, let's start with creating an access table first. We will create a slicer which will refer to the pages column from newly created access table and then we with the help of rls filter expression we will set up the access Why we are including blank as well because, unlike other setups, where user can't see the page itself, we will show the page name, and if he clicks on that, we will show a custom pop-up message and return him to home page itself. Now we will insert a blank button and we will create a measure which will validate the user who is currently signed in and enable the required page access based on our access table, which we created initially. Access table's email ID column will be filtered with the help of our RLS filter expression, which we just set up. As you have noticed, that in our access page, we have default 3 page for slicer, and then given access to required page, for the users. So, once the user will log in, our email column will be filtered by that particular email ID, and the page which he has access to in another column, and adding with the already available default page, total count will be 2 and he will have access. And now we will create another hidden page for pop-up message, apart from the home page, we need to hide all other existing pages in our report.
For the click here button to be dynamically show the required page, we will set the page navigation with the already created measure. For the home page, we need to create a bookmark because the state of the home page should always be selected, home, from the slicer. Now it's time to test the report and see if it is working based on our access table. As per our access table, this email ID has access only to report 1 and it should not have access to report 2, let's check it out. And yes, it is working as expected, let's check for the other user, who has access only to report 2. As you can see, when he is clicking on report 1, he is getting an access denied message. Let's now go to the next level and create another measure which will show the greetings and information message.
We have not assigned any page access to this user, and he will not be able to see any of the reports, he will get access denied message for all the reports. Then if required, he can send an email to the report author for the access of required page. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting topics in Power BI.